All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kodash. All right, I want to give double honors to the elders, apostles at GMS, and salutations and blessings to the Akim around the world. <coughs> Preaching and teaching is true. <coughs> all right, I'm Yakanun, GMS Memphis, and uh, just going to do a quick lesson. Uh, just had something on my spirit. I've been uh, kind of keeping an eye on the news here in Memphis. And uh, you had a lot of judgments going forth in the earth, man. You know, the Lord is not playing, man. All right? Heavy judgments are going forth in the earth. Okay? And uh, one one trend that I've been noticing is it's, it's a lot of women that are uh, getting judged, man. Okay? That's been the trend lately. Okay, the brother Ayash in um, Mississippi just did a video. Um, and he was going into current events and going through uh, the judgments that that the Lord has been bringing forth. And most mostly every one of those articles and stories he went into, uh, uh, it was all concerning a woman. All right? Women, women being judged, man. All right? So, you know, that's just that's just the uh, spirit that's out here right now, okay? But at the end of the day, man, we understand, hey, how about Shema Awashai is not playing, man. He's not a power to be played with, man, all right? And this is my first scripture in uh, Malachi 3 and 6. It says, for I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. <clears throat> and I'm going to read it in the NLT. It says, I am the Lord, and I do not change. That is why you descendants of Jacob are not already destroyed. You know, and the Lord is showing mercy into a remnant right now. Okay? But, hey, this is the same power that flooded the earth and only saved eight souls. Okay? Hey, how about Shema is is not... A power to be played with, okay? He's not the one that you want to play games with and that you want to uh, uh, play around and, you know, test the theory of, you know, doing wickedness and trying to see how long you can get away with something before you get, uh, you know, judged for it, okay? You know, basically playing with fire, so to speak, because, hey, ultimately, that's what, that's what you're literally doing is playing with fire, because, hey, uh, uh, fire is on the way, all right? Fire is on the way. The Lord is coming with fire, all right? And the scripture said, what what, what will it be if it already be kindled, man? All right? Roughly paraphrasing. But uh, I'm going to get this article and let it just, you know, just kind of go through it real quick. I'm not going to read all of it. Just a couple of articles here. This is just local news in Memphis. This is said, uh, this is foxnews.com, uh, channel 13. It says, woman shot at Memphis Walgreens. A woman was rushed to the hospital Wednesday afternoon after being shot at a Memphis Walgreens, according to Memphis police. MPD <coughs> MPD said that the woman was shot at the Walgreens on South Perkins Road in Parkway Village around 1 p.m. So, hey, this was broad daylight, man. You know, broad daylight, man. A woman got shot. Uh, yeah, that's enough of this, man. You know, it's just it's just letting you know, hey, judgment is uh is going forth out here. All right, this is another another story. It says 12-year-old girl missing from Memphis home. Police say Memphis police are asking for community's help finding a missing 12-year-old girl. Uh, according to police, uh, Amaya Whitfield, 12, was seen at her home on South Wellington Street Tuesday night around 10 p.m. And... Uh, she flipping the bird. She she definitely don't look like she twelve, but you know how these cameras and filters can do. But uh, that's another young girl, man. Says uh, she may be wearing 
Nike jacket and black Puma shorts. Yeah, but she, you know, she could possibly be dead, you know? And then I scroll down a little bit. I'm not even going to click on this one. I'm just going to read the title. It says, Tennessee mother comes home to find wanted sex offender wearing her daughter's shoes. And you can clearly see this guy's an Edomite right here, man. All right. So, hey, man, it's a, it's a lot of, this is another one. Man charged with killing roommate, dumping body and suitcase in Midtown, man. So, hey, <laughs> man, it's heavy judgments, man, going out into the earth, man. All right? And, um, man, I got to get this in Isaiah because uh, this is coming out, it seems like, every week. But it is what it is, man. It, hey, you women got to, you got to, you got to snap out of it, man, you know, uh, and, and, if uh, it's meant for you to receive salvation, you'll find a man of the Lord, man. But for you other women, man, you know, and the majority of the two-thirds are women, all right? Because there's more women than men. So I'm, I'm speaking to the Israelite women. You you better get you better wake the hell up, man, and snap out of it, you know. But hey, hard times are gonna are gonna make you snap out of it, man. Because when these judgments start to pick up and really uh, uh, go forth in the earth with 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 uh, with more regular with, with with being more regular, you know, seeing uh, women getting judged, all right, hey, you you you're gonna have no choice, man. That independent woman, that independent spirit of you know, I don't need a man. All that shit is gonna be done away with, man. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear to my speech. Many days and years shall you be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail and the gathering shall not come. Right, so you women are going to uh, go through hell, man. All right, hard times is coming. All right. And we're we're seeing those judgments picking up in the earth, man. The Lord is is he's he's upset, man. He's angry, you know. And hey, it says uh, it tells you in the apocrypha that uh, uh, through the woman became uh, the beginning of sin. Roughly paraphrasing it, all right. So hey, you women got a lot to pay for, man. You got you 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 should be the most humble uh, uh, beings on the planet right now. But, hey, you've been deceived by uh, Esau Edom, all right, the devil, the deceiver, and, and to, this, to this man uh, truly goes down, man, you're going you're gonna to ride it out with him, man. But, hey, the Lord is bringing forth his judgments, man, all right? Uh, jumping down to verse 11, tremble ye women that are at ease, but... Be, be troubled, you careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Right. So you, you're going to be humbled, man. All right? You're going to be humble. All right? And that's, that's just what it is, man. All right? We're not going to go too much into, uh, you know, these women because it, it, it's, it's judgment going forth on everyone. But... You know, just me reading that article, uh, those articles, and uh, in that report, man, it just, you know, it just stood out that, hey, a lot of women, man, have been getting judged lately, you know, and it's picking up, and I don't I don't see it slowing down whatsoever, you know? We don't want it to slow down. We want the Lord to, to uh, you know, bring forth more fear in the earth, man, because there's not enough fear of your how about shim out shine the earth, man, all right? Everybody out here playing games, man. You had this nigga rap the news, man, talking shit, man, not giving Yahweh Shai his his due respect, man. You know, everything is about the most high, you know. Yahweh Shai, all right, to get to the most high. He is the mediator. And now you, you, you look at this guy, man, and he's in critical condition. He might not make it, you know. And they want, you know, his daughter and his family want, 
wants people to pray for him, man. There's nothing we can do, man. If it's if it's meant for him to make it, he'll pull through. If not, hey, we'll see him on the other side, man. All right, this is uh, Psalms 9 and 16. It says, the Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. You see, and they, <laughs> that, that rap the news guy, man, he got snared up. And, 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 and uh, you know, the work of his own hands, basically. You know, thinking he knows something. Speaking, let me let me get this scripture here. I don't word. So lock it. Uh, yeah, because, hey, you got to give account for, for the things you say. This is Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Hey, and now it's, it's, that, it's that man's day of judgment, man. So now he's 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 crying and praying to you how uh to you know put bring him back, man. Well, his family is. He's on he's on the uh the table in the ICU room, man, fighting for his life, man. Okay, and it's it's all you know judgment of you how about Shemal Shai, all right. And that's what's going forth in the earth, man. That should bring fear upon all Israel, man. That should bring fear upon all you Israelites, man. All right? Here's a man that knows he's an Israelite, that knows uh, some of the truth, all right? But he didn't give Yahweh Shai his credit, man. And look where he's at, all right? Look where he's at right now, man. So let me get a couple more, and then we're going to close it out. This is um this is Ecclesiastes eight and verse eleven. It says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Yeah, because you know, he, he didn't feel like, you know, he had been judged, you know, speaking on this guy rap the news. He he continued on, you know, pushing it uh uh that that BS doctrine, man. All right, pushing our lies. And you have people in the earth right now, man, that that are not uh uh really have received that that full fledged judgment from Yahweh by Shema Shah, and they think they're good to go, man. Okay, because that sentence against an evil work was not executed speedily. Like like the scripture have said. If those judgments went out speedily, they they would be uh uh you know thinking twice about doing and saying saying uh you know anything man letting anything come out of your mouth you know you would have a a, a healthy amount of fear for your how about Shema Shai and, and the things that you do and you say but hey that that fear is about to come upon the earth, man. The Lord is about to make Himself known, man. Like we just read, all right. He's about to make Himself known. This is uh, verse twelve. It says, "Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before Him." Right. So, hey, those. Those spirits, man, those men that were chosen from the foundation of the earth, the Lord's elect, they're, they're, they're going to have that fear of your how about Shema Al Shai. All right? They're going to have the fear of the Lord in them, man. They're going to do things that are pleasing to him so they don't have to uh, end up on the wrong side of judgment, man. Okay? They don't have to uh, be punished like the rest of the world is, man. Okay? Let me get... uh. Let's get Proverbs, and then we'll just go ahead and close it here. This is, um, yeah, I'm going to start at 20. This is Proverbs 1 and 20. It says, Wisdom cried without, she uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the cheap place of concourse, in the openings of the gates in the city. She uttered her words, saying, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge? Yeah, because, hey, the truth is out here now, man. You have no excuse, all right? 
Let's get this real quick because you have no excuse, man. This is John 15 and uh, 22. It says, I, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. Right. You don't have no cloak for your sin now, man. All right. Because, hey, you have the prophets out here preaching and teaching the truth, man, and letting you know what what the will of your house by Shema Shai is. Okay. Speaking his words, man. Whether you want to hear it or, or whether you forbear, you know, the word is out here now. Verse 23, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make make known my words unto you. And how is the Lord going to make known his words, man? Through, the, through his servants, the prophets, man. All right, the men of the Lord. That's how he's going to make, make his words known unto you, man. <laughs> Verse 24, because I have called and you refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Right? And the Lord's hand is still stretched out still. Okay? The Lord is still showing mercy upon his people. It, 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 you know, the end is not yet, man, like the scripture says. You still have time to repent and turn back into your how about Shemal Shah. All right? But, hey, a lot of people, man, for a lot of uh, uh, you Israelites, man, you're going to wait till the last minute. And it's going to be too damn late, man. And, and it's going to be nothing left but judgment for you. Okay, it says, uh, verse 25, But ye have set in out all of my counsel and, and would none of my reproof. <coughs> it says, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. You know, and that's that's basically the point, man, because, hey, when these judgments start going forth in the earth, hey, the Lord is going to laugh through through his men, through his service to prophets. He's going to laugh, man, because you had time to come back and serve him, man. All right. So when that judgment uh, uh, comes forth on you, man, hey, it, it's a <laughs> hey, matter of fact, me read it in the NLT. It says, so I will laugh when you are in trouble. I will mock you when dis when disaster overtakes you. <laughs> Come on now. When disaster overtakes you, Lord, we're going to mock and laugh. All right? Because that's the only time a nigga wants to get right, man, is when, when he's in trouble. Then he wants to cry unto the Lord, man. You know? But, hey, the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. The Lord is, is bringing forth judgment in the earth, man. And right now is not the time to be playing games. Right now is the time... To uh, get your mind right, to repent, and to come back and serve you. How about Shema Shah with truth and sincerity, man? So, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson for the elect. Once again, I want to give our praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Give double honors to the elders, apostles, at GMS, and salutations and blessings to the elect. Shalom.